Now, we are going to get into an issue of the First Amendment and how far does the First Amendment go to protect what you say. There have been cases in the news like death of a president that came out in 2006 uh, that basically lionized a fictional character uh, for killing President Bush. And it is about the trial of the person that kills President George W. Bush. And they've had comedians that have come out and talked about killing George Bush and, and things like that. And as long as you're not seriously saying kill them, or you're not calling for others to kill them, I believe it's protected speech. And the Secret Service has operated as if it is. They do go out and assess to see if you seriously wanted harm to come to those people. Now, we have an article up on Infowars.com dealing with the Fox Brothers studios that are very talented, who've put out uh, now two seasons of Obama uh, doing battle with Conrad the Constitution. And I and Ron Paul and others have featured in some of their past episodes. Some have gotten millions of views, others just tens of thousands. But the point is, Obama assassination, animated satire alerts, Secret Service. So Secret Service responds to animation cartoon, basically, is what's happened. Paranoid national security state continues intimidation of dissenting media voices. The creators of the YouTube animated series, Conrad the Constitution, say they've been paid a visit by the Secret Service concerning their latest work. Well, family's been called by them. They say they're getting a visit entitled Obama Assassination. And clearly it is uh, satire. They contacted us, and so we got them on in the email and said, I just wanted to let you guys know the Secret Service has been in contact with my family and is coming to interview me soon about our latest episode. If I end up disappearing, you'll know why, the email states, and uh, that's from Tim Fox. We've got Tim Fox via phone and Jay Fox, uh, his brother, uh, via, or, or other way around. We have, uh, give me a printout and let me know. Bring, bring me a printout and and when you bring me one, I'll know, and then I'll go off that. Anyways, what I was saying is we have them uh, on the line with us, and we're going to be uh, getting them on the transmission with us uh, coming up here in just a few minutes. But first, I wanted to air and, and, and then give some commentary for radio listeners. The latest episode, uh, Season 2, Episode 8 of uh, Conrad, uh, The Constitution. And so here is uh, the newest thought crime. And, and remember, earlier I covered these articles. New York Times cartoons suggest climate change deniers should be stabbed to death. And, and, and Buzz Bissinger and Piers Morgan said I should be shot, and they agreed that they wanted to kill me. And now uh, they're calling for Krauthammer in a petition to be fired, Democrats are, because he questioned global warming um, in the Washington Post column. And the New York Times is also going along with that as well. So th this is where we're going in this country. And we're joined by the thought criminals. I mean, clearly, it's a satire piece saying, you know, thus all tyrants go, basically. And pointing out that Obama is the one that kills people without due process with the drones, with the NDAA, including U.S. citizens. And so it's, it's really good dark satire, totally protected from every angle, in my view. But I want to be clear, we're not calling for any harm to come to Obama. He's just a high-level puppet. Uh, but it is serious satire like this that will draw attention uh, to the hypocrisy. Now, joining us on Skype is Tim Fox and his brother Jay Fox on the phone. Tim, first off, your family's been contacted by the Secret Service. Have they uh, come after you as a thought criminal yet? Have they visited you yet? Yes. Thanks. Thank you for having me on, Alex. It's good to be on. And uh, yes, the Secret Service did visit me. So since we got your email last night, they've come. Tell us, tell us what happened. Yeah, they uh, they first they came to my parents' home, and uh, my dad gave me a call and said, "Hey, uh, the Secret Service is here to talk to you." And uh, at first, I was like, "Sure, Dad." I was pretty sure he was joking with me, but I thought you had some hookers. <laughs> like, no, they're really here, um, and they want to talk with you. Uh, and so I was like, oh, okay. And so the next, uh, that was on Friday night that they came there. And then uh, Saturday at 12, they came uh, to our apartment here in LA and uh, it interviewed me. So uh, do, do we have their illustrious names? 
I don't have the names uh, on me now. Well, that's okay. So t t tell us what they said. They, uh, first place they came to the door, they said, uh, I think you probably know why we're here. Uh, are you one of the Fox brothers? I was like, yes. You're like you're uh, with Conrad, the Constitution. Like, yes, I, I know why you're here. And she said, yeah, Secret Service uh, showed me her badge. And uh, they came in. They just wanted to talk. Uh, they said about about the episode uh, because they had been getting a uh, a lot of uh, calls or emails, I assume, from concerned citizens. Yeah, good little snitches. Well, I mean, the issue is it's a public video, and it's clearly satire, and it's clearly a bad dream he had where he said, I don't kill people without due process. We would never do that. But then you point out Obama's doing exactly what's wrong. I mean, that's the essence of it, right? That, that's exactly what we, what we were going for. And uh, I explained that to them that we are, of course, we would never want any harm to come to the president. It's clearly satire and that we uh, were trying to point out the hypocrisy uh, of how our president will just assassinate American citizens without any due process that has been uh, given to them by their constitution. Uh, and just what's going on? I mean, in today's day and age, you kind of have to do something a little edgy to, to draw people in. So that's well what we said. Did. We'll update the article. You've now officially been visited. So how long were they there? What else did they say? Uh, they were here about uh, probably five minutes. Seemed longer uh, when you're getting interviewed by the Secret Service. But, uh, yeah, they, they basically said we, we don't believe you're an issue. Both of us don't think it's a real problem, but we are supposed to come out and, uh, you know, do a follow-up just to make sure 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 i mean if you wouldn't have had conrad saying it's wrong to kill the president at the end you might have started to have an issue but clearly you're saying it's wrong to kill the president until he's been found guilty of high treason and i gotta be honest folks i don't wish any harm upon the puppet because that that lionizes him but i mean the stuff they've been committing against this country is high treason and if they ever had real trials it'd be nuremberg i mean i'm sorry they'd be hanging most of his administration uh but i'm not calling for that i'm just saying like it is They've all committed crimes against this country that are high crimes, and no one can debate that. Fast and Furious, Benghazi, the list goes on and on. Now, let's bring in your thought crime brother. Uh, did you get a visit as well, Jay, uh, or did just your brother Tim get it? You know, actually, uh, so far I've avoided being visited by the Secret Service. Uh, they you know, I first came to my parents' house, and at that point in time, I was up in L.A. Uh, with Tim. But... Uh, later that night, I drove down to San Diego, so they they missed uh, they missed their opportunity to talk to me. <laughs> well, how dare you talk about the Lord and Savior, as as Jamie Fox calls him? Uh, this video is going to end up going viral. I think it's going to backfire on the tattletales. What do you think? Oh, that would be great. That would be you know we we definitely we would, we would love to get our message out there to as many people as possible. Um, and you know, obviously, like you've been saying, it's not. We're not trying to say that Obama should be assassinated or anything. We're saying the exact opposite, that uh, he shouldn't be assassinating American citizens. And Conrad says it's wrong to kill the president without due process. And I totally agree with that. Uh, and, and again, there's a lot of people worse than Obama above him. He literally is a puppet. I want to come back in the next segment and just have any thoughts you guys want to add here. But, um, I mean, I think you've done a really great job with these Conrad, the Constitution. Uh, videos, uh, animated shorts, and I think it's good for young people who are, you know, into more uh, comedy-oriented stuff. So I hope this does backfire on them big time. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud we are the resistance you are the resistance 
You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war, and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv. Tim joining us via Skype and uh, Jay on phone. Other points. You guys got the floor for the six minutes. What do you want to relay about your experience and where all this is going? When you dovetail it with Dinesh D'Souza being arrested, governors that don't tell the line being arrested, calls for FCC people even in newsrooms of uh, print publications. I mean, this looks like a reign of terror. Jay, you want to take that or you want me to go? You know what? Uh, you know, I'll touch on that. Uh, you know, it is very concerning. Uh, you know, these these events have been occurring as far as the relate to the First Amendment and freedom of the press. And uh, of course, my brother and I are kind of concerned that something like that could happen to us. But we're not going to get let that get in the way of um, again like, keep us from getting our message out there. So we, we'll keep making videos. Sure. Sure. Well, it's satire to point out he's killing people without due process, and uh, some idiots out there don't get it and think you're being provocateurs. Tim, what's your take on what I just asked? Oh, yeah, exactly what you're saying. It's really scary, and I think what's even scarier is just the people like my age and Jay's age and the friends we talk to. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of our generation, which scares me, don't realize the rights we have or the, within the Constitution, because I'll talk to people I that I you know, recently just talked to about being visited by the Secret Service and about my video. They're like, well, are they gonna make you take it down? Or uh, are you gonna take it down? Like, no, they can't make me take it down. There's this thing, it's called the First Amendment. I'm well within my rights, you know? And I, I just, I think that's why me and Jay started this show was just to try and educate uh, everyone, but mostly draw, point it towards the younger generation uh, so that they realize that we do have a constitution, uh, while it might be getting chipped away every day, or not might be, but might, not might be, but is, uh, it, it's still there, and we, we have to educate everyone That's about right. it. And we have to restore it. Now, now what, uh, anything else the Secret Service asks you? What, what type of questions did they ask you? Uh, basically, uh, they asked... Uh, they had that they had this list of uh, questions that they typically ask and are you planning to attack the president are you yeah like exactly yeah uh, uh, the first you know like are you planning to assassinate the president or have any plans to and they were, they were even like uh, I'm, I'm sure your answers are probably no but um, and of course they would know and also if you're a part of any hate groups uh, you know well they list the founding fathers as hate groups so I guess you are <laughs> well, yeah, yeah I, you know. Are you a uh, veteran? Because you're in a hate grip then. Uh, no, I'm not a veteran, but. Uh, well, that's I'm, good. You're not a hate grip. Okay, good. Yeah, so I was able to get by that question. And uh, that, that, that was uh, pretty much it. Uh, well, what's coming up next for Conrad, uh, Tim and Jay? What, what's the next episode going to be about? Well, we're not too sure right now. I, I, we're just going to sit back and watch uh, what happens. And <laughs> I'm sure we'll, there'll be something that, that happens that uh, will violate Conrad. So uh, these, I mean, these politicians are really writing the show for us. Uh, there's unfortunately too much content uh, for the you show. You can have Obama walking around in it telling people, you didn't write that essay, you didn't build that building. And then, <laughs> and, and, and then everybody goes, Obama did, Obama did. And then literally he's like, he's like a queen bee ant or something. And the whole world just comes out of his rear end or something. Maybe that, like, like, like everything, just assembly lines, you name it. It's like it's a Costco. Yeah, the, the you didn't build that comment. That was that was pretty funny. But, I'd like to see one with that. Yeah, where he's like yeah. a giant, or or maybe Michelle Obama's really building it, and she's like a giant <laughs> alien queen with this huge bloated belly, and like everything, aircraft carriers, you know, you name it, poetry, classical music, it all just comes out of there.
You are watching the best of the Alex Jones Show, weekdays from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central. Watch live at InfoWars.com forward slash show or become a member of InfoWarsNews.com and help us take resistance to the next level.